Hey guys, Doug the Michigan Piper coming to you from the Pipe Rest. And uh, today I am smoking my Crescent, my Bent Crescent that you all know I really, really love. And uh, this is like the straightest pipe that I have, I think. Uh, and I, don't, I don't love it because it's uh, a straighter pipe, trust me. But in it, I am smoking Amphora Burley Blend. This is the next stage of my Amphora, Amphora smokes. Uh, and I really, really like the Virginia Blend. And the Kentucky Blend I put on the shelf for now. Uh, I think I'm going to like that in the wintertime. And I'm, I'm to the point now, guys, where I'm starting to realize... Uh, you know my, my changing taste why they're changing when they're tasting they're changing but I can tell you obviously I'm drinking water um, I can tell you Pat was right when he said that I would like the burly blend uh, I gotta admit I'm really surprised by the amphora blends for some reason I was thinking Amphora was kind of, eh, you know, don't don't put too much stock in Amphora blends. It's not the best tobacco. Uh, not saying it is the best, but these are pretty good blends. And then you you, you factor in the the price point, and you can't beat it. So, um, you know, when I went to the Chicago show. I was just gonna. My my goal was to find the the Virginia in for a Virginia, and they sold this sample, so I bought the what are six or seven blends that they had, and uh, so far I've not been disappointed with any of them. The only one I got left now is English blend, which I'm you guys know me. I'm not much of an English smoker, so we'll see how that goes. But I might just shove that in a jar for winter time. But yeah, these these amphora blends are good. Uh, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. Looking at getting a new video or a new uh, camera, and when I say new camera, I mean a camera in general because I film on my phone. Um, I uh, not real. I'm not super tech savvy, but I do like doing the video editing and stuff when I have time. And I thought maybe it was time for a different camera uh, instead of film, filming on my phone all the time. So um, I was looking at the GoPro, but you know, to get a good GoPro, you're talking four or five hundred bucks. And uh, found a camera today that I'm probably going to pull the trigger on. I can't remember the name of it now. Wait, Waco or Mako or something like that. Uh, did a lot of reviews on it. It sounds like it's. It sounds like it's the one that I want, so I'll do, maybe I'll do a video down the road on it, guys, and uh, uh, tell you how it turns out. But uh, uh, those small cameras, those they call them action cams, I guess, but they're good for vlogging and stuff as well. Those uh, those have come a long way, and you know they're all waterproof now and tiny, and and uh, the reason why I liked it was because not only can I use it to film down here. Uh, but I can also use it like we're getting ready to take a another family vacation here shortly in, in July and and uh, I'll be able to take it with me on there you know take it kayaking with me and not have to worry about it getting wet and uh, it'll be it'll be fun to, to do that so yeah it's uh we'll see how it goes I'll give you guys an update once it comes through but um, not a whole lot else going on today it's it's miserably hot uh, now for those of you Sorry, I got peanuts in my teeth. Um, for those of you that uh, aren't familiar with the weather in Michigan, Michigan, uh, the reason why I like Michigan and northern Indiana is because we have four seasons. It gets cold in the wintertime and it gets hot in the summertime. And uh, so today it's 99 degrees, but the humidity level is up there. And Michigan is, is pretty bad on the humidity level, especially in that what we call the Michigan area, northern Indiana and southern Michigan. So, you know, to be out in it, it just, as soon as you walk out the door, it just takes it out of you. You know, you just kind of, your shoulders slump and it's like, oh, it's it's hard to breathe. It feels like, it feels like it's hard to walk through even. So, 
Yeah, it's kind of a good day to be inside, to tell you the truth. But, not naive enough to say that, you know, our weather sucks more than anybody else's. Everybody's got reasons why their weather's not good or is good, you know. Uh, I think the only place I probably wouldn't want to live is Seattle or out in that general area because all the rain. Um, but I like this here. It's, it's Four Seasons. Uh, four Seasons of good weather. Of, of good as in, you know, solid weather. It's not like the sunny season and the rainy season or whatever. I spent some time in the military in, uh, in Texas where my niece is now and uh, I came back and I remember thinking to myself as I drove down the road it looked like the grass was overflowing onto the roads just because the grass in Texas was so dry where I was at that uh, you come up here and the grass is all green and, and just flowing everywhere so um, yeah the weather weather weather's good here I really like it and uh, you know it sucks when you're putting water lines in your house like I did a couple weeks ago and you got to put them four feet deep so they don't freeze but uh, you know that comes with the territory so uh, I'm gonna let you go guys but uh, yeah this this M4 series is is great right so far I know Sam just did one uh, from doing it wrong just did one on uh, on the Kentucky blend and uh, seems to really like that so yeah M4 is kind of you know if you got a couple extra bucks throw at it and want to try them out good stuff so guys I hope you're all doing well Till next time you take care